The message is that we're going to do what's in the best interest of our taxpayers and collect whatever fines and fees are due to the city. Court records show that among Trenton's debtors is 28-year-old Deshaun Verges. He owes Trent nearly $3,100. His grandmother says good luck collecting. Deshaun's been in prison since last year for drug convictions. Well, well I guess they, you know, they've been putting him on probation and let him out, trying to get, you know, try to help himself get clean and all this other stuff. and. I don't know, he ain't had no job. Nobody won't hire him, you know, for the payback. Another debtor, a real estate business, MYG Management, that's out of business, right across from the front steps of Trenton City Hall. It owes the city $333. Records show 20-something Barry Crudup owes the city $491, but his father, who didn't want to be seen, says the records are wrong. We paid those bills. I you paid did? them personally. Yeah, I did. did. Yeah. When did you pay them? I don't remember. I got the receipts and stuff. It was uh, last year. So the city got it wrong? Don't they always have it wrong? In August, the city announced Pioneer would start collecting unpaid fines, but so far, no one has come in to sign up for a program called New Beginnings to put down 30% of their debt and agree to make installments before October 1st, when Pioneer can tack on its fee of 22% of what debtors owe, no cost to the city. Some of these cases date all the way back to the 1980s. And some of the people who lost here in municipal court owe the city of Trenton more than $12,000. And to say it would take city workers forever to find some of these people is an understatement. The number you dialed is not in service. If Pioneer goes old school, it'll find disconnected phone numbers, boarded up buildings, and folks who've moved several times since they lost in court. But Pioneer has access to a slew of databases to cross-reference and find debtors who seem to have disappeared. It's really to gain efficiencies and the effectiveness of having an outside firm come in and help us with the debt collection. It's something that they specialize in. McEwen says the $3 million is a fraction of Trenton's $188 million annual budget, but money no cash-strapped city should just write off as a loss. In Trenton, Michael Hill, NJTV News.